State Senator Wayne Langerhulk Jr.'s largest goal with Johnstown's raise grant is driving more economic activity. And that's what we're really focusing on here is bringing more individuals to the region, uh, you know, bringing back Johnstown. It's why he hosted a roundtable with Johnstown, PennDOT, and Camtran officials on Thursday. The city received a $24 million grant last year from the U.S. Department of Transportation's Rebuilding American Infrastructure with Sustainability and Equity Program, or RAISE for short. This is an award that's you know a very, very competitive award nationwide that uh, a lot of people apply for, and a lot of people aren't even in the running. The setting of downtown Johnstown was fitting. As Langer Hulk says, much of the funding will go towards that area. Landmarks like Central Park and the Morley's Dog Statue will receive dollars to draw in more visitors and make the city a better place to live and socialize. We're not going to have a, a factory come in here and employ thousands and thousands of people, but we need to find creative ways and to draw on that. The city wants to improve its nightlife and recreation options to modernize the city. Funding will also go towards transportation like adding a second train line and improving Camtran bus routes to make sure those people can get to and from and throughout Johnstown. The cost of living is, is low and there's a lot to do here. I mean, I challenge anyone to look at the newspaper on a weekend and tell me that there's not something to do because believe me, there's plenty to do. Langerholk says the improvements are still a few years out from being completed, but the city announced Thursday it's taking the next big step by hiring a consultant to allocate the funds. In Johnstown, Jack McCune, WTAJ News.